But his technique when he comes for cross is what I'm interested in. He almost falls. He stops a little bit short and he relies on his six foot six frame and he just falls into it as opposed to taking an extra mm. step and getting his body into the likes of Christensen, getting his body into the, the, the centre forwards that are there and trusting his strength. You know, because he's six foot six, but then by the time he gets to the ball, his fist is probably maybe at six foot because he's falling into it. Take the extra step and make the contact. He'll get the free kick anyway. Do you think he's like a goalkeeper who maybe is, is not suited to the way modern football is going. People talk about goalkeepers need to be good at their feet, but they also talk about, like I remember Jurgen Klopp was talking about Kevin Kelleher and, and Alisson saying we have front foot goalkeepers. Mm. You know, that he sometimes looks, because he's so big and I, I guess he's made his name in the game as that presence, that shot stopper, mm. that maybe that those aspects of the game don't come as naturally to him. And I don't think he's good with his feet either. I mean, we look at Pep Guardiola when he signed Claudio Bravo, got rid of him quick and got in a new goalkeeper, you know, because it wasn't good enough. Donnarumma's not good with his feet. We saw that in the in, in the in the clips there. He's a good shot stopper, and that's because of his wingspan. It is huge, and he's so big, and he fills the goal, and he's a very good shot stopper. Questions over decision making. We see him c coming out for balls there. Not very good with his feet. But unfortunately, Paris Saint-Germain are probably tied to him, though, for an awful lot of money, and they're not going to shift him. I think if Luis Enrique, uh, behind closed doors, probably having mm. conversations, we thinking, we need to get a better goalkeeper in it. And, and you probably think if if the Holy Grail is, is Champions League, you don't win it if you have a question mark over your goalkeeper, I guess. Absolutely not. But I agree with Brian, he's capable. I've seen him have some worldly games yeah. where he's in, in, in form. But he just has makes poor decisions. His decision-making process is not in, in his defence, he won the Euros with, with Italy. But, but Tommy, the other point is probably he's not often that busy with, with PSG. We only do Champions League matches mm. and the odd match against Marseille or Nice, maybe that he's challenged in. So he goes through games where there wouldn't be much pressure on him and he can make decisions, have longer time about his kickouts and where he plays her out from the back. It's in these type of pressure games. Yeah where he's really tested and I, I think he's a bit short. But I, I, not well, short in height, short in He's ability. definitely not short, but there was a there was a talk before this that he has actually been in really good form in League, League Un, but that's against Claremont and to lose and... I think any of the three of us might do all right <laughs> with the number of matches they're winning so comfortably. Any Claremont to lose or uh, Gingomp uh, fans <laughs> who are watching, we apologise profusely.